afternoon. Good afternoon. We want to thank the Osborne High School for that beautiful rendition. Wasn't it lovely? Give a young round of applause. Okay, is it making their way back? I remember those days. To be young again. <laughs> I bring you greetings on behalf of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus. We have the chair. And if at this time, would all the members of the Black Caucus please stand? Thank you. And I also have a dual role. Not only am I the chair of the Black Caucus, until tomorrow when we have elections, I'm also chair of the Women's Caucus, which is House, Senate, Republican, and Democrat. So pray that that election goes well tomorrow so that I can give up one of those hats. <laughs> I greet you as a daughter of the movement who stands to pay homage to Ms. Rosa Parks, a woman who had the courage to avail herself to be used as the catalyst that would change the trajectory of racist and oppressive laws. We all know the story of Mrs. Rosa Parks and how she gave up her seat, refused to give up her seat on the bus. As a matter of fact, we've heard the story so much that it has become cliche in most of our lives. So many times now we'll say that she sat down so that we could stand up, or she didn't get up so that we could sit down. However it goes, there's much more to this, to this story than her not getting up a seat on the bus. Mrs. Parks' refusal to give up her seat was more than, more than indignant defiance or aching feet. It was the collective effort of a group of individuals who strategized, strategized and conspired to repudiate racist and unjust laws. She sacrificed herself for the greater good. Her unwillingness to give up her seat exemplified the fortitude of a determined woman who along with thousands of others unleashed a revolution of justice. But those of us here still have the awesome task of continuing the work of Mrs. Rosa Parks. We too are called to unleash a revolution of justice. A revolution that ensures that our people have access to quality, affordable health care. A revolution that provides our people with jobs that have living wages. A revolution that guarantees that our children receive the best quality education. And a revolution where we beat back the things that so readily divide us as a nation. So I'm so honored that I will be able today to be able to purchase a Rosa Parks stamp. And it will be a living testament to the fact that a woman who stood up for more than just the little things, whose life has become the epitome of what it means to sacrifice for the cause. Someone so courageous, so on time, that she was catapulted into the limelight. And now, it's not about giving up a seat on the bus. Mrs. Rosa Parks, She's going to be traveling the world by first class mail. Thank you. <laughs>